You know guys, it seems like just yesterday the Overwatch League was first formed, but after 4 stages, 23 weeks, and 91 days, I think it's safe to say the first ever OWL season was a smashing success. Except for the 0-40 Shanghai Dragons thing. But anyways, with the London Spitfire being your first ever champions, we thought it would be the perfect time to take a look back and give you the top 10 plays from OWL Season 1. Kicking off our list at number 10 is New York Excelsior's Libero, who goes on an absolute tear on Genji as he slices and dices his way through not one, but four Seoul Dynasty players to fend off the oncoming siege. But Seoul are already two thirds of the way to capture this one, and now it's going to be a matter of late time. But Libero going to go in here. He's found there already. Look at that for Toby. Decides to zoom him over the optimal target there and slash through, and it's a nasty. Oh, Libero! It's five kills! Nothing gets you going like a good nano blade, and we haven't seen many lately, but Libero delivers. Known as one of the world's best battle mercies, our number 9 play sees Neptuno prove that mercy can do more than just save your team's bacon. With no DPS in sight, Neptuno took matters into his own hands and proceeded to wipe out three Outlaws players, all while rezzing two of his teammates just for good measure. Using Transcendence in this fight, the Reptile, where we headed with it. Jake doesn't quite know, he's looking for a softer target, but he actually finds very little. Neptuno gets the kill on Jake while he was channeling that ability. The Caduceus Blast are paying off quite well, and now over the point, it's a bit of a do si -do. It's the Houston Outlaws, though, that come out in front for now. Gonna be the Valkyrie Hughes Lynx is gonna be very careful! Neptuno gets another kill in that fight! The man Marie. in the Battle Mercy, what is going on, Neptuno? Calm your farm! Will it be the difference, though, remains to be seen. A couple of big kills from that, Mercy. <laughs> All right. I can't even cast this seriously anymore. Coming in at number eight is the LA Gladiators Fisher on King's Row, who lands an absolutely disgusting four-man Earth Shatter before following it up with a triple Kalat Fire Strike to completely wipe the Florida Mayhem. The Rez might come in. Yep, Big Goose brings him back up. Earth Shatter comes through. Oh, bold. The tank's knocked down. Damn, the DPS. Was knocked Whoa, down. that's a triple kill with the fire strike from Fissure. <laughs> this fight was so disgusting. The Gladiators are going to need to rename themselves the Aristocrats. <laughs> that Team was kill. the fat Shatter there. If there's one thing to take away from our number seven play, it's that if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. With the game headed into overtime, Dallas's OG doesn't let a blocked Earth Shatter keep him down, as he recharges his ultimate in record time to pull off one of the fastest Earth Shatters you'll ever see before capping it off with a 3k of his own. That's I think what Mickey is kind of waiting on. He's hanging around that corner, there's the stun onto OG. And it is just gonna be the straight throwing it out there from OG, not waiting for the combo. His shatter gets denied completely by the shield. He will succeed in taking him for a ride though. Faith getting caught in the corner, leaps back to safety. We lose Kareem, however, in the meantime. And Faith eventually just too much damage, can't another handle it. Shatter. Another shatter from OG, another shutdown for the defense. Before at the start, we were thinking, okay, what does OG bring? We're don't really too sure because the team just wasn't there, but now that yeah, yeah. they're clearly firing on all cylinders, OG just. Seems like one of the better tanks in the league. Sneaking in at number six is New York Excelsior's Pine, who slips behind enemy lines to pull off a series of gutsy plays to delete four Spitfire players with flicks so filthy you'll have to watch them twice to believe them. Now Libero down, Bedosa with a big pick there on the Junkrat on NY. Pine finds a pick on the Prophet though. Genji out of commission, Wu Yao back. Pine with three! Pine with four in fact! And Pine steps up to the plate and hits a grand slam. As you're about to see with the Infrasight and nailed the shots, not many Widowmakers would go for this play. Yeah, but Pine would. And he just absolutely nails it here. Even the Machine Gun, what a flick. Are and you another serious? Beautiful. This guy's a living highlight reel, man. Jumping in at number five is yet another play from Fisher, who says, who needs hit scan?" as he vaults through the air with primal rage to maul the deadly airborne duo known as Far Mercy. Now, can we just all take a minute to appreciate this man's determination? Yes. New kills here going in favor of the Gladiators. Another hack trying to come through from hydration onto agility, so you know how devastating the hack is now. This Fisher's like, get him, son! Oh, no, he's gone! He's gone on the jump! He gets the 
it back by Rajdin. This is a bit ballsy. Fisher oh, takes it down. Nobody oh, doesn't like Fisher. Nobody's more handsome. That is so filthy. Number four on our list comes courtesy of one of the best McCrees in the game, Big Boss Pine. Facing off against the Houston Outlaws on Ilios, Pine shows off his pinpoint accuracy as he pops off with a ridiculous 5k that only a big boss can pull off. Rolling early, Jonak does go down, a res comes in from NYXL and here comes Pine, gets one, gets two, looking for a bit more, gets another one! Are you kidding me? This guy is going to single-handedly change the point back over He's to NYXL. He's going to kill everybody! Oh! Okay, Pine, Big Boss Pine is on the scene! Wow, that started so well for Houston, too. They forced the early res onto Jonak. Pine already with the dead eye to start off this map. Coming in at number three on our list is Philadelphia Fusion's Carpe, who shows us that he can, in fact, do it all, as he wipes out four members of the Boston Uprising with some crispy headshots to retake the point and win the map. Outside high ground to escape to if you get jumped on, but it looks like the Boston Uprising are too busy trying to take the point. That's the Widow Duel 1. Again, Philadelphia Fusion always going to come out in top. Striker though, lands a big triple on the barrage there. The Graviton helping both supports are caught together. That's what they needed, but Carpe strikes in again. Striker down, <laughs> Felix also being removed. Carpe, what are you doing? This is unbelievable! He turns around and gets on the point. Ikuo follows it up. How have they redone this? How do you retake a point like that, Philadelphia? You don't play by the rules ever! EQO's looking over at Carpe just laughing. What the hell was that? I don't know what to say. Oh, man. That is just incredible. Taking the runner-up spot on our list is a 2,000 IQ team play for the ages. A team play that will go down as one of the best to ever be seen. It's the LA Gladiators surprising everyone on day one of the OWL playoffs. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm just going to charge this area up, especially if they go towards the point. You're going to be able to keep everybody up as well. Oh, look, Silk Thread on this eye here. I feel like more recently, we're not asking what Silk Thread can do anymore. We're kind of asking what he can't. So many different heroes that he can sort of bring out. His puzzle was very effective. Okay, I like this with the Gladiators. This is, this is cute. We're going to try and circle around. The Spitfire, want to interrupt this a little bit here. Where are you going? Where are you? Oh, the high ground. High ground. Yeah. Oh, this is so nasty. Shoot balls, chilling in small. So he's waiting here. We can sort of walk out. What well, is he trying to do? With uh, I think he's going to either he's going to either switch to Widowmaker. Uh oh, yep. oh. Yeah, he's going to be the play. He's going to switch to Widowmaker. I'm gonna call this the merry-go-round because it makes me laugh. Makes me happy. And Shaw Force switches to the Widowmaker at just the right time. Closer drops down, and it's a day at the shooting range for Lane Roberts, the Canadian superstar. Unloads on the Spitfire, and they get completely smashed. Sometimes, Matt, the best laid plans fail, but not this one. Big flank from the Gladiators, and they let loose the Widow at just the right time. In the Overwatch League's first ever Grand Final, London Spitfire's Prophet shows us just why he is the best damn DPS in the world. With 23 seconds left on the clock, Prophet cuts through the Fusion's defenses like a knife through Butter, single-handedly deleting five players to go on and eventually win the inaugural season of OWL. Is this the secret weapon for the London Spitfire? Is this the answer to their problem? And Tudor's down. Tudo down again. That heralds disaster generally for the fusion and Carpe wasn't far behind. Prophet with three! He's killed four players now on his own! And the Spitfire are coming through with this one. Prophet finds five kills on this traitor. Can you better believe that's enough? Just clutch it by that Poco 2K plus the uh, the Arissa uh, Ultimate as well, and just able to do it. But Profit, man, what I'm did he do with this? End here? What was this? This entire clip's nuts, honestly. It, what? It, 1v5 stuff that's almost. Best that's way ridiculous. of the game. Best way of the game by far. Arguably play the best play of the match. All right, guys, that's our list. Now, if you like this video, let us know in the comments, and we might just give you another one. Another one. Sorry, that was DJ Khaled reference. I'll, I'll stop now. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.